gave an authorization, so I guess it's on there. So they knew which one it was and everything. It was no misconfusion. They literally stopped the auction on the same day of the auction. Yes. All from opening a line of communication and, and going with it. How does it make you feel, Justin? Um, I'm good. Kind of tired. Stressful. Ah, so you've been up too early. <laughs> yeah. Can you hear me? I don't know. If you don't know who I am by now, I don't know what you've been doing. You've been asleep? Let me wake you up with something. Straight up. Yeah. Allow me to reintroduce myself. I'm Chris Monroe. R to the OE. I flip houses, rent cars, and make money. You know I'm not no motherfucking dummy. This is how we do Chris, Justin. Hey, hey, how's it going? What's up? What? How's it going today? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. You say you got the auction stopped, huh? Yeah. On the day of the auction? Yep. They say you can't do that. Well, it, 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 there's no auction today. I sent an email to the law firm at uh, like 7.30, and they said there's no auction today. I said, okay, cool. So that it was on their site or something before, or how did you have the auction? Uh, where did you get the auction information from to begin with? The homeowner. Okay, so they they stopped the auction that was that was pending. Yes. And all they needed was an email. What did you send them? Something special? Any magic words you used? I just said, "How can we?" By what you said, what are the stop? What the stop? What are the steps to stop this auction? I sent me sent them my authorization, and I said, well, we're, "There's this put a hold on this." Did you tell them you were buying it or something? Or literally, all my email sent was, "What are the steps to stop the auction?" And that was good enough for them. That was all I sent. So just asking a question and they look at it and say, well, look like we're not going to have the auction. And so they canceled it. Yes, that was all I did. But and they I, say you can't I, do I, that I, on the day of the auction or you can't stop auctions. They told you. Chris, all I did <laughs> was send my authorization. What are the steps to stop this auction? And they wrote back and said it has been stopped. Yes. And then I said, what are the what's the statement amount? What is the um, payoff? Started sending some emails back and forth. That was all I did. I didn't like do anything weird, do anything like special. That what I'm telling you I did, that's all I that's all I did this morning. I started doing I sent an email to the partner of the law firm and the associate. So she was the one who responded to me. That was all I did. And they just wrote back and said, this thing is canceled. You sent, you gave them the loan number? Well, you gave them the authorization, so I guess it's on there. So they knew which one it was and everything. There was no misconfusion. They literally stopped the auction on the same day of the auction. Yes. All from opening a line of communication and, and going with it. How does it make you feel, Justin? Um, I'm good. Kind of tired. Stressful. Ah, so you've been up too early. <laughs> Yeah, seven, like seven this morning, like you said, make sure that everything's like, you know, get in contact with the lender and, you know, the law firm. You know, they say that they're, you know, their website says that they're supposed to open like eight, like, like you said, like, is that Central, Eastern? So, I don't know, I do anything really like special. Just send an email and send it to the, uh, the partner and the associate. So basically, like I be saying all the time, most of the time, the only the only thing that I'm selling the seller is that we can stop your auction. Everything beyond that is totally negotiable. Totally, uh, we have to figure that part out depending on what they're trying to get. But I always my selling proposition is I'm here to help you stop this auction. And then you know if you're looking to sell it, you know this is how much you want to walk away with, etc. That's why I do that yeah. position more so than, hey, yeah, I'm going to negotiate a big price and do all of this stuff. No, we want to first stop this auction. And then. Yeah, first things first. You're, you're, negotiating, you're 
we're trying to negotiate about something that you, you're going to lose everything. Like, so let's make it make sense. Right. You got to walk them through step by step. So did they give you any options as far as putting those arrears on the back of the loan or anything like that? Or they didn't get that far yet? No, no, they have not. Because that would be a slam dunk deal. Then you can just give her a few thousand to move or be happy and take that bad boy over. Oh, yeah. Now, I'm going to see if there's like if there's a modification is an option as well. I went straight to uh, to reinstate it. Is like a modification an option? Yeah. Sure, out of there, but at that point, like mentally, I was just like, oh, okay, I, I can do, I did this much, um, go for a walk, eat some food, and like I said, mentally, I was just drained trying to make sure I didn't mess this up. Well, I think you did good on this one. I mean, you know, a lot of times they don't want to cooperate the day of the auction, but things happen all the time. Sometimes they have legal paperwork not turned in properly. Uh, the service wasn't properly done. There's an error on, uh, uh, you know, the, the paperwork. Anything can stop an auction all the way up to just contacting them and ask them, how do we stop this auction and do whatever they say to do? If they don't say do anything, don't do anything. If they say we need this, that, and the other, give them this, that, and the other. It's really that simple. Anything else yeah, you learned like, from this? Yes, yeah, like you said, just instead of like telling them what, what you can provide them, what do you need from me? That was like that's that's a gym right in itself. That's right. Let them tell you what they want. They don't ask for nothing. I ain't giving them nothing. If they want this, I give them this. And that's yeah. the name of the game right there. And every every lender and every uh attorney is different. So all of them won't be this easy, but it just lets you know that, you know, I stay on these people. I just talked to a lady a few minutes ago where her mother because I couldn't get her to answer the door or the phone, but I talked to her mother and she's like, yeah, we're frustrated. We're gonna have to send the money in. And I said, well, you have several options and I'll be more than happy to look over all of those with you. And uh, she said, yeah, call her back in a couple of days. It's the mother. I didn't get the daughter that's the actual owner, but the mother is uh, open to talking to me at least. She didn't like hang up the phone. I thought she was gonna be mean and rude or you know something like that, but no, she was ready to go. She's like, yeah, well, we just that mad at the bank. I'll call you in a couple of days. Like you're talking about, you were about to lose your house. Like, what is more important outside, like having a surgery? How do you <laughs> not, not like? I will meet you wherever, and let's talk about how I don't lose my house, or how you can like put some money in my pocket if I do lose my house, or you can help me out. Like, I'll call you back in a couple of days. Like, what? Yeah. Well, that's because that's the mother. It's her daughter's property, and she's the one uh, that's foreclosing. Okay. And she's like, yeah, we don't really know what's all going on right now, but we'll know something in the next day or so. So I said, yeah, is it okay if I call you back? Because I was thinking when she was saying she was mad and furious, she meaning mad and furious at me for calling or mad and furious because of whatever, but I didn't want to assume anything, so I just kept asking questions. And lo and behold, I found out she's just mad at, I guess, her daughter from not communicating saying hey i'm behind on my payments etc now they got to drop a big chunk of money to reinstate her yeah. loan so i told her that yeah. there are options and we're more than happy to help them walk through this whole thing yeah put in the situation yeah it's like damn why didn't you say something yeah so she's pissed off at the daughter pissed off at the bank but she wasn't pissed off at me i thought she was mad at me for calling at first because how she was talking but i was like just keep a straight face keep asking questions don't hang up keep at you know keep it going and that's what i did and i got her to warm up a little bit got her to take my number down and uh i told her if you get any information call me back i'll be happy to walk you guys through it and uh, you know just see what happens they may not even sell me the house but at least we got somebody on the hook that we can at least call back and say i'm following up with you as promised right you're Part doing what you're what, what you're supposed to do what you told me you would do versus your lender isn't doing what they're supposed to do and help you leave and I'm here to help. Exactly. So yeah. Well, I do have a question. Yeah. I do have a question though. So with I'm trying to figure like sign out, like fill out this paperwork. You said that I I'm doing it subject to on the paperwork, and you said I can also put the purchase amount on that as well. So get the loan balance. They, did they send you a payoff amount and stuff for the from the lender? Not not yet. They can't give you an approximate amount. Well, so I take that back. They, they did. It's like $75,000. So that's what you put on there. Approximately 75000 or the loan balance. What are you giving a seller? Is she getting anything? or? Uh, yeah, I was going to give her like ten grand. 
So put that on there, uh, add 10 grand to the purchase price. So it'll be $85,000 is your purchase price. Gotcha. Because you're giving okay. the seller 10,000. Gotcha, okay. So you'll be paying 10,000 plus closing costs at closing. So maybe 11 grand to take this deal down. That's on the Missouri side or Illinois? Missouri. Oh, so there you go. Yep. It'd be less than that. It'd probably be like, I don't know, 10,800, something like that. Yeah, but, I, but I'm trying to, I guess her arrears is 20 grand, so. Well, you may have to renegotiate with her. Why are we giving her 10 grand? We might need to give her five. I don't know. And I'm, you know, everything's up for negotiation. How did right. you determine, how did y'all come up with 10 grand anyway? Is that something she said or you just offered her that? No, I'm just thinking mentally. Ask her what she no, needs. Not. Ask her what she I'm needs gonna... to move on. Yeah. Everything we do is an open-ended question. Never lock yourself in unnecessarily. What do you need to move on from this house to make this, you know, smooth transaction for you? Oh, if I can get twenty five hundred, I'd be happy. Boom, we're giving her twenty five hundred. We don't know. Gotcha. Ten grand might be the number, or she might be unrealistic. I need fifty grand because I know I got a bunch of equity. At that point, you can just cash wholesale it if you want to do that. You know, so it's a lot of options depending on what she wants. Not necessarily what we're just going to offer her. I like to ask questions and let them tell me because well, they might say well, something. Initially she, like, initially, she wanted to stay. And I said, well, look, I can't promise you that that's going to be an option. I need to talk with my underwriting partner. And then they'll let her know, like, yes, this is an option because X, Y, Z. But I can, what we can't offer you is, you know, what amount is comfortable, is, are you comfortable with that works for you? As you move forward, but I was like, I, I'm like, no one's gonna, I can't let you stay in this house. I told her that, like, I, I, I just can't give you, can't let you stay because you haven't been able to pay your your mortgage. Why would I let you rent from me? So, so the, the, the way I position that, I don't necessarily harp on, you can't stay, you can't stay, you can't stay. I ask questions on, in the event you had to move, where would you go? I plant that seed. I want them mentally moving out of that house. In the event gotcha. you did have to move, where would you go? Oh, I can go move with my sister. Oh, I can go move with my mother. I want that question answered versus me beating gotcha. them up about you can't stay, you can't stay, you can't stay. You gotcha. see what I'm saying? That's a better position because if we go too hard on it, it kind of could push them away. Even though, you know, we know that's the inevitable, but I'd rather plant the seed of programming them to be mentally out of this property. Gotcha. Okay. That makes sense. Say it'd be worth the price of admission, don't it, Justin? <laughs> Yeah, man, for real. It's like I'm trying to, uh, just trying like, just trying to figure this out and learn, learn as much as possible. Like, I love the fact that you can like answer the phone. It's like, yeah, that's that's. Uh, I really appreciate that, man. We need to do more of these deals together for sure. One hundred percent. Any other questions for today? I think that might be it. All right, knock them dead. Congratulations. I appreciate you, brother. All right, see you. So there you have it. Stop the auction on the day of the auction. The auction was supposed to be today. My man, Justin, did what he did and got the auction stopped. So he's going to try to purchase this house. More to come on this, probably on the next training. And uh, this is how we do it, baby. Future Cash Flow Club. You know it. So I want to get into real estate, but don't know where to start. Well, what I would say is to join the Future Cash Flow Club. It's a community of investors where we talk about wholesaling, we talk about creative deal structuring, buying houses subject to, all of the creative stuff that everybody's talking about. You don't need a real estate license or any of that. Wow, where do I sign up? Well, I would say go to futurecashflowclub.com. That's futurecashflowclub.com. You can even get a free trial. Try it out today. Find more leads than you can even process. That's multiple listing service. That's the MLS for your real estate agents. Absentee owner information. Find the cash buyers and flippers in any market nationwide. Pull a pre foreclosure list. And don't forget, you got to find those comps. Get nationwide access with multiple filters powered by PropStream at WokeSource.com. Get your seven day free trial today. WokeSource.com. That's WokeSource.com. You may have heard the saying, the fortunes are in the follow-up. Now there's a brand new system that is great to help you code call, text message, drop voicemails, and so much more all automated. You don't have to remember anything, just set it and forget it. All you have to do is speak to people. 
Check it out, wokereply.com. It's a multi-touch marketing campaign where you can schedule to send text, voicemail, email, and even live calls all on autopilot. Check it out today, wokereply.com. That's wokereply.com.